everyone, it's Stephanie Gagos and I'm back with another video. Um, it's been a rough week. We had uh, a power outage. I was out for a few days from my home because it was too cold to be here. And I feel like I've been out of sorts. Then today I had to get two, um, I guess you could call them nerve blocks. I have a occipital nerve um, issues and tension headaches. So I had to get two shots in my head today. <laughs> so I've been feeling a little out of it, um, but I'm just happy to be here and happy to get to pour today. Um, I did some resin yesterday. I'll show you. It's still not quite uh, cured yet, but um, it is safe to touch at this point. So this one came out wonderful. The only thing I need to do here is scrape, uh, kind of sand a little bit here. Um, there's a little lip somewhere that I need to get rid of right here. So I'll just use a knife and take that off. And over here there's a little bit too where I put the tape. I think the tape was too far um, this way and it wasn't flush up against the line so I ended up with a little bit of resin there but other than that it is a beautiful finish the other one however <laughs> it's a third coat it it's kind of amazing like it has such a flawless finish except let's see if I find it right here a little bit here and here so it's not taking in this area. And I'm not quite sure what I'm, what I'm gonna do differently with the third coat. Um, there's still some dimpling. I don't know if I should add some silicone to the resin and see if that helps. Uh, but other than that, I feel like I actually was able to get that doming effect in my second um, attempt. And I'll just show you a quick video of what I did, what I used to get that effect. So I used the tape to get that domed feel on the sides. And uh, that worked actually quite well, except for here. And I'm just wondering, no, see, it, it came out perfectly. So I don't think it was, I don't think it was that it wasn't level or anything like that. I just think this area keeps repelling, uh, probably from the silicone underneath. So I'm kind of bummed that I have to do a third coat. And I'm kind of afraid that if I do a third coat, I'm still gonna have this problem so if you guys know of anything I can do for this third round differently hopefully it will take finally but the rest of it looks wonderful <laughs> and I wish I didn't have to do a third coat but I'm going to have to okay so those are the results of my resin coating um, not the final results, but sort of where we're at right now. And then today I want to do a pour with this Zinzer paint booster that I've never tried. So I'm going to be using this sort of like adding water. Um, instead of water, I'll be adding this and see how that goes. Uh, I think I'm going to try a small pour first. And if I don't get the results I want... Then I'll probably add a little bit of GAC um, 800 to the to the cups and see if that gives me what I want. Um, I'm kind of hesitant to use this because I'm not quite sure what's going to happen. But I mean, that's the whole point of experimenting <laughs> is to see what happens. So today I'm using Quinacridone Gold Hue by Americana by Deco Art Americana. I'm using. Sky Blue Light by Amsterdam. I'm using King's Blue by Amsterdam, the Expert Acrylic. I'm using Zinc White, the Expert from the Expert series. I'm using Deco Art Americana Cerulean Blue. I'm using Amsterdam Azo Yellow Deep, Ceramco Antique White and 
turquoise by Lucas. So we shall see. I'm hoping with the different consistencies of paints that I'm using, I'll get some selling. I am on the quest to find uh, a formula that does not use silicone but still produces cells consistently. So that is why I'm trying so many different things. Also, I want a formula where I don't have to torch. I'm going to mix and I'll be back. I'll time lapse it so that you don't have to sit through that. to run off the stick sort of like the consistency of honey some people like their paint a little bit more runny or thicker I like to vary it so that some are streaming off of the stick and then maybe some are more of a stream and a drip so like this one not right there but I want it to be more of a stream and a drip for this one. But I want my white to be a lot more runny. It's just about personal preference. Also don't want to thin down the paints too much either. stirring until it's smooth. Some of these paints are chunkier than others and it's just a matter of really stirring them. Sometimes you just can't use it if it's way too clumpy and no matter how much you're stirring it's still clumpy but for the most part you can really work it to the point that you get it to be smooth and workable for the pour. I try not to give up on the paint too fast. <laughs> this is one of my favorite um, surfaces. It's the Blick Premier Artist Panel and it's primed already. Primed smooth, the 8x10. It has the thick edges. I love it. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to use white. You know, sometimes when you do the small ones, it's almost like it doesn't have enough space to really spread out and do its thing. You know, obviously you don't have this problem with silicone. But when you're not using silicone, sometimes the, the cells break apart more easily, it seems. I just like to save a little bit of paint in the cups for the sides if I need it. I 
do tend to like to manipulate my pores quite a bit. <laughs> Go. So I'm just going to pour it. And I like to kind of do this right in the middle. Sometimes that gives me some cells. There are some really interesting things happening here. Really beautiful. And I'm going to bring you guys in for a close up. This was quite ambitious, all these paint colors. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do a small one in this small cup here. Let me just get the focus right for you guys. Okay. There is some cell activity in the cup. I'm going to do a flip cup. Let that sit there for a few moments. Okay, let's see. Bring you in for a close up. Definitely cells. Look at that. Let's see if I could keep them. It's very light. So for this next one, I'm not going to use too much of the titanium buff, or the antique white rather. 
kind of overpowers everything. Thank you.